Today we're going to be cooking pork chops with baked parsnips and rhubarb stuffed apples. Delicious. Very easy to sharpen a knife. 45, 45, 45, 45. Look at this. Red tractor assured pork, so you know that it's come from a farm with great standards of animal welfare. Look at the colour of it. It's absolutely beautiful. You know it's going to taste the bomb. So the secret to really good crackling is vinegar, actually. It gives it a really lovely, uh, bubbly appearance. Cider vinegar, apples and pork. Marriage made in heaven. And I'm going to slice it into strips into a hot oven. It will make a nice little starter. Oh, This would be absolutely delicious roasted whole, but uh, I think I'm going to cut it into chops. Just cut down the bone like that. The sharp knife just absolutely glides through it. This is such lovely meat. If you've got any butchery skills at all, you'd, uh, you'd give it a whack now. Yes! OK. We've got a bunch of chops, bonus bit of fillet, crispy crackling, and, and a roast for later on. Yeah, if you go in commercial kitchens, everything's really hot. There's smoke everywhere. But everyone's very calm. Crackling smells like it's ready. You see, they're almost done. When they're crackly like that all over, then we're in business. What I'm going to do is use a little bit of the fat that's rendered off for the parsnips. Oh, that's going to be lovely. And it'll tie the flavour of the parsnips in with the pork wonderfully. A bit of pepper, salt, a bit of sugar as well. Why not? Give it a nice glaze. Knock the mud off, throw it in the oven. Trust the old baking tray. Now, these are probably going to take about an hour. Parsnips in the oven, pork's ready to go. Right, apples, wonderful things. Got the perfect climate here for growing apples. Core them first. Apple core is one of those things that uh, <laughs> you don't need very often, but when you do need one, nothing else will do. If you just score it around the middle, It'll stop it exploding. So we've got some new season rhubarb here. Rhubarb is really, really good with pork. So you just want to strip off the stringy bits, wedge a bit of peeled rhubarb in the middle, into a baking tray. You dump a bit of honey on the rhubarb. Mmm! These are looking good. Oh, yeah, lovely and crispy. You could definitely serve this with the, uh, with the pork chops, but it's ready really quickly. It's quite a nice little uh, appetizer. Bit of apple sauce, glass of beer. Mmm! Oh! As a father of five, I'm always looking for easy wins in the kitchen. You can actually get uh, Red Tractor Assured uh, oven chips as well. Just get the oven as hot as it will go. You want an absolute furnace so that you get really crispy on the outside and they sort of explode and you get that lovely fluffy centre. That's what you're looking for. I've just blinged these up with some uh, onion powder. Ooh, garlic granules, that would be nice. Ooh, a bit of chilli. Um, 20 minutes. The meat, very simple. Got the chops. Paint them with a bit of oil, hit them with the salt, and straight into a hot pan. Very reassuring sound, the sizzle. And the chips. Oh, they're looking crispy. The lovely bit of sauce in there. You can leave these as long as you want. They smell absolutely delicious. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so they're, they're giving easily to the touch. This is where the children burn their fingers. They're like, oh, daddy, daddy. Ooh, ow, ooh, ah. They smell incredible. Sweetness of the parsnips and the savouriness of the pork, the acidity of the rhubarb. This is looking good. Ooh, yummy. So presentation is really quite important. You can never have too many fresh herbs around. That's the greatest thing about growing your own stuff. Pork chops are good to go. Um, well, those oven chips are pretty sensational. And you can spend a lot of time making sauces, or you can just buy cream, which is like the ultimate sauce. Hit it with the brandy, bit of rosemary. Up she goes. <laughs> hey! And that's lunch. You've actually got like a pudding, a starter, a main, and chips here um, all at once. It's the only way to roll. Oh, you've got to get a chip in that sauce. That is insane. Mm.